שלום, good evening. שלום. Uh, we finish the last time uh, the third uh, beggar. Before we go to the forward, the next one, a few more words. Uh, I said to think that uh, my confused people, they might think that uh, two things that are not working together. I say in one way that Rabbi Nachman is it's exactly in the middle. In another place, I say that he's above the middle. Mm -hmm. Right? So, I work together. So when we talk about five head of the beast, only the five that fell down, the, the five first, is in the, in the middle, because it's the, the third one. But if we talk about the seven, so the four one is the, mid, is the middle, so then the three is above the middle. Mm -hmm. All right, so this, this has to be clear. Now, uh, another thing, in, in the end of the story, uh, it is some explanation about the third beggar. They said that all the story is connected to the chapter 61 of songs of Tehillim. Mm -hmm. What it is written in, uh, in uh, this chapter, this is Rabbi Nachman said. He gives them a hint about the, the third. Shema Elohim Rinati Akshiva Tfilati. Can you translate, please? Um. God, please hear my, my song my and my prayer. And listen my prayer. Hear my, my song and listen my prayer. From the edge of the earth, I will call you. Uh, as my heart... Uh, from, from, from the... Uh, edge from the uh, from the edge of the earth uh, I will call you when, uh, my heart when I, 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 I when I I when 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 so we talk about somebody that's in the, in the edge of the earth. What is the heart? We talk about the heart. But of Libby. Right? Betsur yarumi meni. Tsur, it's like a, it's a, rock. Lo, it's a rock that is above me. A rock that... that um, that is elevated above me. You will. Guide you, you, me. you. It's like you will, you will, you will lead me to a. You will guide you, me. You will, you will guide me to a, to a, to a high place. Uh, to be saved there, you will guide me to. To a rock. Yeah. To be saved uh, under this rock. Right. This is a rock above the mountain. Mm. Right? Mm. What, he, what is connected to Atikyomin? We talk about Mimi Utaba. Oh. Right? Mm. Even is a, is a father and a son, mm -hmm. both together. Right. Is a snake, the dad, and is a Adam. I mm -hmm. mean, it's both of them. The father and the son. Ki aita machaseli migdal oz mipne oyev. Migdal equals 77. Uh, because you was a, a machase. Shelter. For me. Migdal, a tower, tower of strength, migdal oz. A tower Mig of strength. Migdal equal Oz. Ten time Migdal, ten time Oz equal 770. Right. Place of Chabad. Mm. From against enemy. Mm -hmm. you, you was for me as 
מגדל עוז, Tower of Strength, Tower of Strength and a shelter, a shelter from, from, all, from, from the enemy. אגורה באוהלך עולמים, אכסה בסתר כנפיך סלע. I will live in your tent forever. I will find shelter. בסתר כנפיך סלע. And uh, under your wings, in the, in the shadow of your wings forever. So this is a, this is a big bird mm-hmm. that gives him a, a, a consolation from the heat. The heat came, came from the Migdal Oz too, from the sun. Mm. Right, so there are the, in this place all kind of things, against him and, and, uh, mm. and for him. The bird is there too, the bird that, uh, that uh, gives him a, you know, protection from the sun. We say that the bird is, is a tichyomin, it's, and a tichyomin is a pnimiyut abba, so father is a, is, a, is a chaya, is a sun, but in the middle of the sun is a moon, and something that give him, uh, cool him. Ki ata elukim shamata lindarai natata yerushat yirei shmecha. Is it perik there? Samech alef. 61. Because you got, uh, you heard my nedarai, uh, my promise. Mm-hmm. You've given the uh, inheritance of, you, you, you of give those the, you, you give the, the land that is called Yerusha to the ones that fear you. Now, ימים על ימי מלך תוסיף, he receives the day, the time. Day, on the day of the king, you will, uh, you will add. Every time you will add me another day. Mm-hmm. On my day. שנותיו כמו דור ודור, is here, it's like from generation to generation. Right. So we talk about somebody that is not living in this world. We talk about Jesus, because mm-hmm. Jesus is David. He's the original David. Mm-hmm. After the scene with Bathsheba, Nathan said to David, Ata Aish, you are the man. The man, Aish, equal Jesus, Yeshu. Mm-hmm. You are the man. יושב עולם לפני אלוקים, he will sit forever in front of God. חסד ואמת מן ינצרו. Now we will, we will get to the mystery of the man of, of charity and true. It is expression חסד של אמת, a charity of true. What is a charity of true usually? It's a charity that you give and nobody will, will, tell, will, say, will tell to you, thank you for this. Hmm. It's when, when you do a charity to somebody that passed away, you call it chesed shelemet, a true kindness. Hmm. Because uh, the guy that died is not going to... There's no returning the favor. He's not, retur- he's not going to return you the favor if you take... if you take care of him after he, after he passed away, mm. right? So it's, it's a true, so in Tseru, this word reminds me not truth. Oh. So who is the Chesed Shel Aish, the big man that is a, the man of Chesed Shel Emet? It's an angel that are created from the work of Christianity, that give another day to Jesus, 
to the world exist. Mm-hmm. Now, somebody has to give to Christianity some, somebody from holiness. Christianity is not in holiness, but somebody from Am Israel has to give to Christianity the, the legitimation. So this is uh, Rabbi Nachman, this is the first man that gives, collect the chasadim of Christianity and give it to the angel of Christianity. To give it to the heart of the world, to give it to Jesus. It means you, you have another reason to keep to exist. Mm-hmm. Because there's still... Uh, they still keep him, him, and in Am Israel too, it is somebody that take care, think about him, and take care that he will, he will continue to exist. Mm-hmm. So the world will continue to exist. All right? Now we see more clearly uh, what is the, really the role of Rabbi Nachman here? Because he knew all the time uh, uh, Jesus is, is a true, is a, is a Mashiach. He knew, he knew it all the time. He knew the truth all the time. And he do a rectification. And the rectification he do is give the legitimation to what do the, the Christian what called Chesed Shalemet, a true kindness, because, because they, they keep, they keep Linsor, uh, uh, to keep, they, they preserve. keep, they preserve their master, the faith in him, you know. So it's all called Chesed Shalemet. This is the way, this is the, this is the way According it's to the, the translation, the word man, chesed ve'emet, man. Man in seru, man it's like minalo. Man. Uh, he gave him. It, according to the translation, they, they say appoint, meaning to appoint kindness and truth which will preserve him. Yeah. Temane. Temane. Chesed ve'emet. Man, is a command. Yeah, temane. Man. Temane lo, yeah. yeah. It means, uh, 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 I use the temane. To a point. To a, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we go to the the four one. The four one is, 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 is in the middle. So it's between. Mm-hmm. We talk about between Two town, right? Mm. Two bird, two town. It's like two wings. Two. It's mm. between. All right, so this is the the middle one. I give you the honor. Um, you have your ah the book in English. One second. So the fourth day, they completed the celebration of that day and went to sleep. The next morning, the couple began to yearn for the beggar with the crooked neck. 
All at once he appeared and said, Here I am. Originally I blessed you that you should be like me. Now I'm giving you this as a wedding present. You think I have a crooked neck? Actually, my neck is not crooked at all. Quite the contrary. I have a very straight neck. I have a very beautiful neck. However, there are vapors in the world. I do not want to exhale and add to the vain vapors of the world. It is for this reason that my neck appears to be crooked. I made my neck crooked to avoid exhaling into the vapors of the world. But actually, I have a very beautiful, wonderful neck, since I have a, a wonderful voice. There are many sounds in the world that do not involve speech. I have such a, run, a wonderful neck and voice that I can mimic any of these sounds. Regarding this, I have the word of the land. There is a land where everyone is expert in the science of music. Everyone there studies this discipline, even little children. We talk about the snake. We say that the snake is a four one, is a middle one. It means is a is a snake in the middle, mm. right? We say that the snake is a musician, is a ganan, is an agan, mm -hmm. right? So we talk now about a uh -huh. a country of music, right? There is no child there who cannot play some kind of musical instrument. The least person in this land would be the greatest musician any, anywhere else. The wise men there, as well as the king and the musicians, are extraordinarily skilled in this art. Once the leading sages of that land sat down and each one boasted about his music, one boasted about his skill in one instrument, while another boasted about his skill in another instrument. One boasted how well he played one instrument, and another boasted that he could play several instruments. Still another one boasted that he was able to play all musical instruments. Another one then boasted that he could mimic a certain musical instrument with his voice. Still another one that he could mimic a different instrument. Yet another boasted that he, that he knew how to mimic many instruments. Another boasted that he could mimic the beating of a drum so well that it sounded like, exactly like a drum. Another boasted that he, with his voice he could mimic the sound of artillery. I was, I was also there. I spoke up and said to them, My voice is better than your voices. This is proof. If you're so skilled in music, let us see if you can help the two lands. There are two lands which are a thousand miles apart. At night, people in these two lands cannot sleep. As soon as night falls, everyone, men, women, and children, begin to wail. If a stone were placed there, it would melt out of pity for this wailing. They hear a great sound of sobbing, and because of this, all the men, women, and children wail. This is true in both lands. The same sound of sobbing is heard in both lands, even though these two lands are a thousand miles apart. If you are so skilled in music, I would like to see if you can help these two lands, or if you can mimic their sound. Let's see if you reproduce the exact sound of the wailing that is heard there. The wise men said to me, Will you bring us there? Yes, I will, I replied. They all set out and eventually came to one of the two lands. At night, when everyone began to wail, the wise men also began to wail. It was quite obvious that they could do nothing to help these people. In any case, I said to the wise men, Let, Tell me what is the source of the sobbing that is, heard there, that is heard here. And you do know, they replied. I most certainly do, I said. There are two birds, one male and one female. There are only such pair of birds in the world. The female was lost and the male went to look for her. He searched for her and she searched for him. They searched for one another for a very long time until they got completely lost. When they realized that they could not find one another, they decided to remain where they were, where they were and build themselves nests. 
The male bird made himself a nest near one of the two lands. He was not right next to the land, but he was close enough to, that the people of the land could hear his voice from the place where he built his nest. The female bird built her nest near the other land. She too was close enough that they could hear her voice. At night, both of these birds begin to wail in a very loud voice. Each one wails for its mate. It is this sound of wailing that is heard in these two lands. When the people hear this wailing, they too all begin to wail, therefore they cannot sleep. The wise men did not want to believe me. Will you bring us there? they asked. Yes, I replied. I can bring you there, but you will not be able to come there. If you come close, you will not be able to tolerate the sound of the wailing. Even here you cannot stand it, and you are forced to wail along with the others. If you were there, you would not be able to stand it at all. It is also impossible to come there by day, since it is impossible to tolerate the joy that, that is there. By day, birds gather around each one, of the, each one of the pair, and they console each one and make it extremely joyful. The birds speak words of consolation, telling the pair that there is still a possibility that they will find one another. We see here uh, uh, two concepts, uh, two birds. One of them is represent. Uh, one of them is male, meaning he represents the day. Another, uh, the other bird is uh, is a female, meaning he represent, represent the night. Mm -hmm. You can say it's opposite too. You can say the, the male he represents the night and the female represents the day. Uh -huh. you know, if, if we talk about the father and mother, so the father represents the night and the mother represents the day. Mm. Right? The sun and the moon. Mm. And you see that in the day it's very, very happy, so happy that you cannot be there. And in the night it's so sad that you, you cannot be there too. Mm. It means because they are not together, they are separate. Oh. It's not. It's not it's harmony. Not balance. Yeah. balance, harmony of these two uh, qualities that we need. Both of them. We are, we have to be happy, and sometimes we have to be sad. So mm. we appreciate the happiness. You know, it's a night and day. Right. So it's it's a uh -huh. uh, interesting to see this. Uh, Polarity. Yeah, we talk. We talk about uh, the two, the two concepts of the sun and the moon, uh, uh, Yaakov and Esav, etc. Right. We talk about these two, two guys, the two inclination. Right. Mm. The two wings, the two wings. Mm. You can say that. What is above the wisdom is a bad, what is below the wisdom is a good, is hmm. right? Always what, what is above the wisdom, it's like subconsciousness. Subconsciousness it's always has to do with something that in this world we don't have the vessel to, to understand it, so it reveals as something uh, evil. Mm -hmm. Okay? So in one way you can say that the snake, it means the, the bad guy, in the middle, and from the two sides you have Rabbi. Right. But really it's not like this. Hmm. The, the real snake is both of them together. But when you have both of them together, the dominant is the evil one. Hmm. And this is the Pnimi Utaba. In another way, what is above, is, is what we call the snake, it means the priest. Mm. It's like he's, he's, only, he's only bed, he represents only the night, it's not the night and the day. From the other side, the rabbi that represent only the day. Mm. Okay? Mm. This is the connection between the snake, or, the, the seventh beggar and the third beggar. Right? Mm. These are two lions. Ariel, Ariel. Mm. 
He can be, his name is Plant, he can be, his name is uh, Menachem. Mm-hmm. Okay? Each one is in extreme to the other side. And all the correction is that they got close more and more. And the power to make them close more and more, it came from, from Pnimi Utaba. Uh-huh. It means today who holds the concept of Pnimi Utaba, the body, is a body. It means he's a, he's a bad guy. It's why you find the bad guy in the middle. From in another way, you find it him above the middle point. Mm-hmm. Okay. At, but at the root, the bad and the good are are one. In the middle, they are, yeah. they are both of them together. Right. In Pnimi Utaba. But in Pnimi in, in Pnimi Utaba. Uh, uh, the dominant mm-hmm. is a bad because they are both together. Mm-hmm. It's why you have in one in one way you have the concept of Yishai. Yishai. In another way you have the concept of Shai. They can be really reversed. Right. Because what is Yishai? Yishai is Yareach, Shemesh, Yareach. This equal a Sabbat Mutavram. A sav in the appearance of Avram. Mm-hmm. This is Yisha. This means he's a bad guy. So you can say that this is Esav in the middle, and this is Avram. Avram refers to the moon. Another way you have Shaish when you wrote this name. Yeshua in symmetry with the two eyes, the two sides, the two eyes. What is the name of the Chaya? You have Shaish in the middle. Shaish is. How you translate Shaish? Marble. Marble. Alright? If I know. Uh, and In the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 20. It's one of the most fantastic verses that have to do with the sun. It's when we feel shy and we feel, we feel shy. And we will shine to you, Yereshmi, the one that fear my name, Shemesh, a, a son of charity, Umarpe and healing in her wings, she wings. The, all right? This, this, this is a verse, the word that uh, we have to, to watch. Vezachalachem, you a shmi shemesh. What are the acronym? Shaish. And what we have in the end of the world? Yishai. Wow. Mm-hmm. Nice. 
Nice, no? Mm. Classics. Wow. The secret of the sun, of this paradox, that in one way, you say that in the middle you have Esav, or Avram, right? The sin is the letter of Yitzchak. In one way, in the other way you say not, in the middle you have Yitzchak, in the both side you have Avram. This can be switched. Why? Why this can be switched? Because if I am Noah, I find grace in the eyes of God. In the eyes of God, I will be the opposite of Noah. Noah is a father. I will be Chen. Chen is a mother. And if it is a mother, that will find grace in the hands of God. In the in in the eyes of God, she will be Noah. So the eyes of, of God is reflection of all the infinite possibility. You understand this? It's everybody. Right. Reflection of everybody. When we talk about the two spirit, we say that between the two spirit it is opposite. Uh -huh. So each one finds his opposite in the eyes of God. All the all the idea of hand is to find to be able to contact myself to my opposite. My opposite will be Yaakov if I am myself. Right, but according to Rav Ginsburg, he says to find favor is actually to find something that's common be between you. Exactly. is to find is to is to no, but it is written. The opposite. It it is written venos, ver, ver, about uh, Esther noset chen b'nei kol roa noset chen. Yeah. He says that that's a difference. Ruf Ginsburg says this is the difference between nosetchen or motzetchen. Okay, noset is more is more strong is is, is, is marriage. Yeah, but right. it's always it's always have to do with the opposite. No, but no, that's what I'm saying is that I I remember he says. Oh yeah, if if sochen is means to find the common denominator. Why? Because it's a reflection of my of of myself. Yeah. In in your eyes, I think the reflection of myself, but myself is in reverse. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's myself. I say the rabbi is me, but it's my it's it's opposite of me. Mm. It's completely opposite of me. Yaakov and Esav, it's one soul. That's all the idea. Now, uh, the quality of Chen. The quality chen have to do with fly, life have to do with infinite. The quality of chen that in the moment I am opposite of myself, I can hold the infinite. Mm -hmm. If I am Jew and Christian both together, I will say exactly the same thing to the Jew and to the Christian. But when I talk to the Christian, the Christian will say, "Well, Ariel is is believer, is one of us." And when I, I will talk to the Jewish religion, they will say, Ariel is one of us. I will say exactly the same thing. We'll talk about the cross, about, uh, you know, all what I talk. The idea of Chen is that you hold two opposite. And to hold two opposite in the moment, between two opposite is infinite. You understand this idea? Mm -hmm. If you have a line, one is infinite to there, one is infinite to there, it means it's two opposite. But between these two opposite is infinite. Mm -hmm. Alright? Between good and evil is infinite. Between any two opposite really is infinite. So it's the vessel to all the the infinite. So in, in mm -hmm. the moment you have the quality of hand, it means you... you you are you find in yourself the opposite of yourself. You you are you are able to to do peace to to find grace in the eyes of everybody. Mm -hmm. this, this, this is the secret of the snake of the holy snake. Mm -hmm. The bad snake is a hand shaker. Mm -hmm. he, he he do all kind of of uh, uh, artificial act. 
to look nice to please everybody. Right. But he, pre he pleased everybody with a lie. Chaim Sheker, you know, the way he walks, the way, the way he sings, the way he... Right. he the way he, he, <coughs> You know, people do all kind oh, of movement right. to find grace, to, to right. please, to, so, so they have success in, in society, so people right. like them. Right. This is what you call Chaim she, Sheker, mm -hmm. the lie of Chaim, you know? Mm -hmm. All kind of artificial things. What you call in Hebrew, Liot Metsuza. If you have a word in English for, mm -hmm. for this. All right, so... So, when we talk about the free middle of Yeshai, we say we have the snake in the middle and we have Eve below and Eve above. Right? In Father the bit you can always reverse it, this all the idea. Uh -huh. If not, it's not Chen. <laughs> if you are not able to reverse any... So we say the basic structure is that the evil in the middle, because more you are connected to the essence, more in this world is revealed as evil. Mm -hmm. Because it's more, more thick energy. Right. It's not must to be. It's not must to be evil. The can thing can be with Yaakov, can be with Esav. But basically, we say that Esav is more thick energy, so we put Esav in the middle. But if Esav want to find grace in the in the eyes of God, it means have to be Yaakov. It's not. You have no chen, so you will find Yaakov in the middle as well. Mm -hmm. When we talk about about, we say that Yishai. David, Shlomo have the acronym of, of the name of Shaddai. Yeah. But when you talk about the verse 5 in, in Tehilim, in, in Psalms 72, im shemesh yareach dordorim, you will be filled with the sun and before, above the moon, one to generation. So we have Shemesh, we have the sun, you have the Yareach, the moon, and you have Dordorim, so you have Shaddai opposite. So Shaddai can be reversed. When we talk about Yishai, uh, uh, David, Shlomo, the, the name Shakai starts with Shlomo. Mm -hmm. And Yishai is a Yud. Right. But when we talk about the sun, the moon, and the generation, you have... So you see, the name Shaddai can mm -hmm. be, can be reversed. Everything right. can be, everything can be reversed. This is all the idea of the Pnimiu Taba. And in the the moment you have this gnishut, uh, flexibility, f you know, to to reverse stuff. This is a, this is the secret of the thousand two hundred one one year. And you have here Yishai, right? Yud Yud Shin is the letter of Yishai, and you have Shin Shin Yud, what is the letter of Shaif. Mm -hmm. Right, so, so, it's a very big problem because sometimes you find when you talk about uh, the children of God, The third one is Shuni. You have Tsifion. Tsifion has to do with sight, the first one. Let's put it means to watch. After we have Chagi. Chag is the sacrifice in Hebrew. Today Chag is holiday, but Chag is a sacrifice too. Mm -hmm. Okay? After you have Shuni. Shuni equal the Book of God, Sefer Sefer Cheshbon, calculation, 366, a number we talk about many, many times. And it's, and, 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 Verucho Ukipsan, and, and with his spirit, he put them together. Kipsan, the, the letter of Kapsan Beger. Mm -hmm. Ariel, it means, this has to do with me, in one way. Mm -hmm. 
בת יצרה בן נחמן. אוקיי? יצרה בן נחמן. אבטא יהיה ועצבון. עצבון is from the word, אצבע. After you have ארי, uh, ארי we say is a רבי, after you have uh, a רודי, we say is a, is a רבי, and after you have ארי אלי, what refer to me. But it's a connection between ארי אלי and שוני. You see the connection. טוב. אוקיי, so you continue your story. We talk about the extreme between the night and the day, two birds. Right, the wailing, the crying and the joy. All right, so the two birds, it's, it can be the two, the two sheen or the two yud. It can be, it, it mm-hmm. can be reversed and in another way, one of them is a sheen, other one is a yud. So then you have the dalet in the middle, it means the mule in the middle. Mm-hmm. Somebody that is both of them. This is all, right. all the time can be mixed, can be changed. This is all the idea of wisdom, that it's, mm. it's, it's, it's fluid. It's the speed of light. It's the speed of light and it rest. Don't move. Uh-huh. Above time. Right? Mm. You don't see the light move anyway. <laughs> right. All right. Therefore, during the day, it is impossible to tolerate the great joy that exists there. The sound of the birds who make them rejoice can, cannot be heard from a great distance. The on, only when one is actually there. However, the sound of the pairs wailing at night can be heard at a very great distance. Because of all this, it's impossible to approach their place. Can you rectify this? They asked me. I replied, I can rectify this since I can mimic any sound in the world. With my voice I can reproduce any sound exactly. Besides this, I can also throw my voice so that no sound is heard here, but the sound is heard at a distance. I can therefore throw the voice of the female bird and make it reach the, reach the place of the male bird, and also throw the voice of the male bird And make it reach the place of the female bird by doing this I will be able to bring them together through this everything will be rectified when he saw that they did, didn't believe him he took them in, into a forest they heard the sound of a door being opened and then closed and locked with a bolt they actually heard the click of the bolt then they heard a gun being shot and a dog being sent to retrieve the quarry The dog thrashed around and dragged himself in the snow. The wise men heard all this, but they did not see a thing. They also did not hear any sound whatsoever coming from me. Still, I was the one who was projecting these sounds, and this is why they heard them. They realized that I could, that I could accurately produce any sound and also throw them up with my voice. Therefore, I could rectify everything. Rabbi Nachman did not tell any more about this, and it is understood that he skipped part of the story here. Therefore, I have the word of the, that land, that I have a wonderful this was, voice. Uh, uh, entre parenthèses, what you just said, it was not part okay, of the yeah, story. Yeah, It's like an explanation of the of the, yeah, editing. the editor. Yeah, yeah, that was in parentheses. Therefore, I have the word of that land, that I have a wonderful voice. And that I can mimic any sound in the world now as a wedding present I'm giving it to you so that you will be like me when he completed this story there was a very great joy and rejoicing there you know that voice call equal million and there are two voice 
Mm. כל חתן וכל כלה, זה ה-2 מיליון דולר. Mm. One מיליון זה דריפר טו זה... טו משאר בן דוד, and one מיליון זה דריפר טו משאר בן יוסף. What Jesus called the body and the blood of Mashiach. Uh, all right, so now we go to the fifth uh, beggar. Now we will see something that has to do with above space. In the third beggar we, we saw something that has to do with above time. Mm-hmm. Right? You have to produce time. We, have, we are above time. It's like above time and space is a wisdom in the middle. But below it, it's, 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 the female is always a space and the male is always a time. It means... Mm-hmm. Yeah. On the fifth day, while they were rejoicing, the couple recalled the hunchback beggar. They yearned for him very much, saying, How can we bring the hunchback beggar here? If he were here, there would be a very great joy. Suddenly he appeared and said, Here I am. I have come to the wedding. With that, he fell on them, hugging and kissing them. He then said to them, Originally I blessed you that you should be like I am. Now I am giving you this as a wedding present, that you should be like me. I am not a hunchback at all. Quite the contrary, I have broad shoulders. My shoulders are a case of little holding much. I have an affidavit regarding this. Once there was a discussion where people were boasting about this concept, Each one boasted that he was a case of little holding much. Everyone laughed at one of them and made a joke of him. But the others who boasted about being little holding much were accepted. However, in my case, the, the concept of little holding much is greater than that of all of them. One of these people boasted that his brain was an example of little holding much. In his brain he carried thousands and myriads of people with all their needs, all their habits and all their discussions, all their movements. Since his brain carried so many people, it was an example of little holding much. The others laughed at him. They said the, that the people are nothing and therefore he is, he's also nothing. One spoke up and said, I saw such a case of little holding much. I once saw a mountain which was covered with excrement and filth. I found it very surprising and I wondered where all this excrement and filth came from. There was a man near the mountain and he said, All this came from me. That man lived near the mountain and whenever he ate and drank he would throw his garbage and excrement there. He therefore made it a filthy place, putting a large amount of garbage and excrement on the mountain. Therefore, this man was an example of little holding much since he was able to produce so much excrement. One boasted that he was an example of little holding much. He had an estate that produced much fruit. When the amount of fruit produced by the land was calculated, it came out that the land did not have enough room to hold all the fruit. There was not enough space in the land to hold all the fruit that it produced, therefore it was an example of little holding much. His words were well accepted. This, man, this was considered an excellent example of little holding much. One said that he had a very wonderful or- orchard containing fruit. It was such a beautiful orchard that many people and nobles traveled there. In the summer, many people and nobles would come there to take walks. The orchard, however, did not have room for all the people who came there. So it was an example of little holding much. His words were also well accepted. One said that his speech was an example of little holding much. He was the secretary for a great king, and many people came to him. Some came with praise for the king, while others came with, peti- with petitions. 
It's obviously impossible for the king to hear them all. So I take all their messages and condense them into a few words that I tell the king. The few short words of mine contain all their praises and petitions. Therefore my speech is little holding much. One said that his silence was an example of little holding much. Many people were denouncing him and slandering him very much, but no matter how much they did so, he would answer them all with silence. Throughout it all, he remained completely silent. His silence was an answer for everything. Therefore, his silence was little holding much. One said that he was an example of little holding much. There is a man who is poor and blind and also very huge. On the other hand, I am very, I on the other hand, am very small. But even though I am very small, I lead the poor blind man who is very huge. Therefore, I am little holding much. The blind man could trip and fall, but by leading him, I am actually holding him up. Therefore, I am little holding much. I am little, but I uphold this huge man. I was also there and I said, actually you are all examples of, of little holding much. I understand the true meaning of everything that you said. I know what you truly mean when you boast of being examples of little holding much. The last of you who boasted that he leads a blind man is the greatest of you all, but I am much higher than any of you. When the last one boasted that he led a giant, he meant that he directed the orbit of the moon. The moon is considered to be a blind man since it does not have any of its own light and has nothing of its own. Although this boaster is small, he directs the moon, which is very large. Hmm. Moreover, he sustains the entire world since the world needs the moon. Therefore, he is actually a true example of little holding much. Nevertheless, my concept of little holding much is much greater than all, including his. This is the proof. Once there was a group of people who studied the fact that every animal has a shadow in which it likes to rest. Conversely, there is a shadow for each and every animal. Every animal chooses its particular shadow where it wants to dwell. Every bird also has its own unique branch. It is on this particular branch that it desires to live. Studying this phenomenon, they sought to find a tree in whose shadow all animals live. All animals would desire to live in its shadow. Similarly, all birds would live on its branches. They probed and discovered that such a tree exists. They wanted to go to the tree, since near it, <coughs> since near it there is a wonderful delight that is beyond all imagination. All birds and animals are there, and none harms the other. They all live in harmony and frolic together, so it must be an extraordinarily an ex extraordinary delight to be near that tree. Then they then probe to discover which direction they must travel to reach the tree. A dispute arose regarding this, and none of them could come to a conclusion. Some said that they should head east, while others said that it was to the west. One determined that the tree must be in one place, while another said that it was elsewhere. Thus they could not decide which way to go to come to the tree. Then a wise man came and said to them, Why are you trying to discover in which direction the tree lies? Instead, try to find out who will be able to approach the tree. Not everyone can come near it. In order to do so, one must have all the, the attributes of the tree. The tree has three roots. The first root is faith. The second, reverence. And the third, humility. The trunk of the tree is truth. And it is from there that its branches come forth. It is impossible to go to the tree unless one has these attributes. This group had a great sense of unity and did not want some 
to go to the tree and some to re- some to go to the tree and some to remain behind. They realized that not all would be able to go to the tree since some had the the needed attributes but others did not. Therefore all of them remained so as to give the rest an opportunity to strive and gain the attributes necessary to allow them to come to the tree. They followed this plan and they struggled and worked until all of them had these attributes. When all of them had the necessary attributes, they all had the same idea and all of them agreed on one way as being the true path to the tree. They set out and after a while they were able to see the tree at a distance. However, when they looked at the tree, it was not standing in space. The tree did not exist in space and since it did not have a place, it was impossible to approach it. I was also with them, and I said, I can bring you to the tree. This tree does not have any place at all, since it is above the concept of space. It is also above the concept of little holding much, since this concept is also an aspect of space. Hmm. It is obvious that the concept of little holding much always involves the concept of space, no matter how how little space is involved. However, the concept of little holding much that I have that, that I have is at the very end of space, beyond which there is no space at all. Therefore I can carry you to the tree which is totally above space. Parentheses, the hunchback was on the level of the intermediate concept between space and that which is above space. He possessed the highest possible concept of little holding much. At the end of space, above which the word place does not apply at all. Anything higher than this is totally above space. Therefore, he could carry them from within space to a concept that's above space. Understand this well. So he continues, I took them and carried them to the tree. Therefore, I have the word of these men that I possess the highest concept of little holding much. He appeared to be a hunchback because he carried much on his shoulders, being a case of little holding much. I'm now giving you this as a gift that you should be like me. And when he finished, there was a great joy and very great rejoicing. Wow. Hmm. Right, so of course the tree of life, it's like the tree of life, it's in the wisdom, it's in the middle. In the middle of the garden, like, like it is written, betoch agar, betoch. In, uh, in modern Hebrew, it means inside, inside the garden, but in... Uh, in Ancient the, Hebrew, it means in the, in the in center. In the middle. In yeah. the middle of the garden, it means... Yeah, in the middle in, point. In the middle point is the wisdom, and wisdom all, always refer with life. Mm. And uh, it's a classic. Uh, there are many artists that uh, did uh, draw this tree of life, big tree of life in the middle of the garden with all kind of animal uh, there, mm. under the shadow of the tree and or on the top of the branch of the tree, etc. Right. He gives there uh, a, a six, seven examples of Muat Marzik et Amerube, uh, the small that hold, the little that, the little thing that hold a lot. It's expression in Hebrew. It's a quality in Hebrew when something small can hold a lot of things, like the word Chen. It's only two letters, but it's, it's hold, the Ark of Noach hold all the universe. So it's an example of Muat Marzik et Amerube. Another example of Muat Marzik et Amerube, uh, Muat Marzik et Amerube equal Ahavat Yisrael, the love of Yisrael. What is a vessel to hold the love of God? Mm-hmm. God is, is big. Every, mm-hmm. every one of us is very small. 
But when you like another Jew, it's like you like God himself, because you like who God loves. So, it is saying, you met your Ahavat Yisrael, equal Ahavat David v. Yonatan, the love between David and Yonatan, equal Ahavat Yisrael. It's no gay uh, stuff like there are people that uh, think. Yeah. <laughs> Ahavat David v. Yonatan equal Ahavat Yisrael. It's an example of uh, Ahavat Yisrael. And equal Muat Marzik et Amorube. This expression that, uh, this quality that with, with, uh, to use small things that can really hold a lot, right? Mm -hmm. This is a main secret of, of Chen, of the word Chen, of the Ark of Noah. Right, right is, a, is a one that uh, old, all, everything that exists, what is important, what is not important, what people do, what people think, it's like God himself. So it's the first beggar, the father. Mm. Right? After it's somebody that produces a lot of garbage, this is a, all the clipboards that suck from Jesus. All the, all the garbage in the mountain. <laughs> after, after is a country that uh, they do a lot of food. Right, so this refer to uh, Rabbi Nachman of Breslev. After is a pardes. I you say pardes? Orchard. But Pardes is, is, is all the level of secret of the Torah. Pshat, Remesh, Drus, Sod, Pardes. To go to the Pardes is mean to go to, 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 to descend to the, to the secret of the Torah, level by level. Is a Pshat. It's like you came up. Remes, Drosh, Sod, Pardes, Pardes, Pardes. It's a place of food. Mm -hmm. It's like to go to, to the paradise. Right. To go the, to the tree of life. All right, so this refers to the middle one, the Pardes, that... Uh, Many, many people go there and it's, and it's still place for everybody because it's above space and above time, so everybody can go there. After you have uh, this uh, uh, chief of the king that can take the word of everybody and put it in few, in few things, it's like somebody that is, have a lot of tvuna, of bina, understanding how to uh, consolidate people's uh, uh, messages to the king. What to say exactly to the king and what do not say it meant to put really the necessary thing and that really gives the general picture of everything. So it, it's, a, it's a quality of, of, of Tvuna, of Bina. Bina always have to do with uh, Berurim. Yeah, clarifications. All right, you know, to, to, to take the good and leave the, the, the bad aside and to, it's a work of Bina. Right. Analyzing. After, after you, you have the, the guy that is a rabbi, that everybody laughing, laugh on him, and he, he don't say nothing, don't answer. Mm -hmm. right. The story of uh, Rabbi Gilbo when he was young. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, say nothing. 
uh, and after I say is a, is a guy that was the moon, you can say this, this refers to Shlomo, that is a, is a concept of the moon. Hmm. I saw you can parallel the seven uh, quality to the seven beggars. Right. Yeah. Probably, probably this what you mean. Yeah. And then the beggar himself is the eighth one, which is which is it's somebody above that, space. that he contain he contains them all. On well, the edge of space. Yeah. yeah it yeah. contains all the seven. Yeah. He would take mm-hmm. them above yeah. space. Nice. Okay. You have craft for the for the next one. We leave it for the next week. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good evening.